What's up guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can start making $300 or more every week doing affiliate marketing with Google Ads. And I'm going to break everything down for you step by step so that even if you're a complete beginner and you've never done this before, you'll be able to follow through and implement. And what we are going to be doing with this strategy basically is promoting affiliate links through Google Ads. So you simply need to join an affiliate program, get your affiliate link, and then instead of waiting for organic traffic, we are going to use Google Ads to get people to see our links at the top of Google search result page. Now the reason why we are going to be using Google Ads is because with Google Ads, you can actually target people who are ready to sign up or buy that product you are promoting. And the good thing about this method is that you only pay for results. Google is not going to charge you until people actually click on your link. And that's very important because your campaigns are going to be result driven. You can follow this method to promote any affiliate program you choose, but they just need to meet two criteria. And the first criteria is that the program you are promoting must be a very popular program. And this is very important because the more people know about the program or the product already, the more searches they are going to be on Google for that particular product, all right? Google ad is more effective if there are a lot of people searching for the keyword you are targeting. And if you are promoting a very popular program, that means people already know about the product, they know how to use it, they know what they need it for, and all they are going to Google to do is to actually sign up. So we are going to be targeting those who are at that stage of signing up. Because with this method that I'm going to show you, you don't actually have the time to nurture people before they eventually take action so you want to target people who are at the point of taking action and if it's a very popular product people already know what they want to do and then they just need to use your link to sign up the second criteria is that the commission you are going to get from that program should be very high and this is very important as well because you are actually going to be spending money to get people to click on your link and if the payout is very low you are not going to be profitable so if a program is paying you maybe 5 10 15 or even 20 dollars per sign up that program is not worth this method you should promote that kind of program through organic method but if the program can pay you maybe 50 100 200 dollars per sign up then you can and use this process to promote that program because even if you spend maybe 20 or 30 dollars before you get to sign up you are still profitable with this method okay so i just hope that makes sense to you you just want to pick a program that is very popular and a program that pays you high commission so these are the two criteria you need to check before promoting an affiliate program using this method i'm going to show you in this video you just need to do a little bit of research to find programs like that you can go to impact.com and look for programs that meet this criteria but in this video i'm going to use bluehost as a case study now bluehost is one of the biggest web hosting platforms on the internet a lot of people know bluehost they already know that bluehost is perfect if they want to start a wordpress blog and they probably already know how to go about the whole process so bluehost already has the market and the commission you get per sign up on Bluehost is very high as well. So, Bluehost is going to pay you 65 US dollars per sign up. That way, we can sacrifice some money on Google Ads because we know that whenever people use our link to sign up, we are going to earn some good amount of money. And as you can see, just yesterday, 15th of September, I got paid $65 for a sign up on Bluehost. You can follow this process I'm going to show you here to set up campaigns for different affiliate programs you are promoting. That way, you kind of like have multiple streams of income on different programs making you money at different times. So after you've joined the affiliate program, You've decided to promote you can even promote bluehost if you want if you want to join bluehost affiliate program you can join through impact.com or you can just come over to bluehost.com then scroll down to the very end of the home page under programs you are going to see affiliates so you want to sign up and join their affiliate program and if you join the affiliate program you log into your dashboard and come over to links and here you are going to find your affiliate link for me this is my link so if i copy this link for instance and i open a new tab let me try to visit the link here you see that the link is going to bring them directly over to this page where they can get started sign up and buy whatever they want to buy 
and if they sign up successfully you are going to make 65 us dollars for each sign up the way you can see right here and guys before continuing this video i just want to ask you to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video i really appreciate that because that help youtube recommend this video to more people and if i just come to the channel for the first time you're welcome my name is manuel and on this channel i create videos about online business and how to make money online and if you want to see more of those videos in the future hit that subscribe button right now and turn on the bell notification so i get notified anytime i upload a new video and with all that said guys let's get into the main part of this tutorial where i'll show you how you can set up your google ad campaigns so that people are ready to sign up or buy the product you are promoting can see your link in this case we are going to promote in bluehost and then when they sign up you make money right so now to set up your ad just open a new tab and then visit ads.google.com over here if you don't have a google ad account yet you need to create a new ad account and what you just need to do is to click on start now and it will walk you through the process of setting up your google ad account you just need to follow the prompt set up your account do the necessary verifications and set up your payment information as well and if you want to learn more about google ad i have a full google ad tutorial that's going to teach you google ads in detail this video right here and I'm going to link it in the description below. So if you want to learn Google Ads from the very beginning, you can just watch this video to get that. So after setting up your account, you log into your account. I'm going to log into one of my Google Ads account right now where I'll walk you through this process. Now this is what your Google Ad account is going to look like after you followed all the setup process. And the first thing we need to do before creating our campaign is to actually do a little bit of research to find out the keyword people enter on google if they want to sign up to bluehost all right so you want to find out what's the search term people use whenever they want to actually use the product you are promoting remember the way google ad works is google share ads to people who are searching for the keyword you are targeting so we have to make sure that we are targeting the right keyword and that's the keyword people who are ready to buy or sign up to the product we are promoting will enter into google whenever they are at the stage of taking action and to do that research just come over here and click on tools and settings and you see a whole lot of tools here what we just need is the keyword planner so you click on keyword planner and then over here just click on discover new keywords and then you want to set your target location you can decide to show ad to specific locations or you can just go worldwide and what you want to do right here is to put yourself in the searcher's shoes right for instance if i want to buy hosting from bluehost what's the keyword i'm going to use if i go to google it's going to likely be bluehost sign up so anybody that wants to start using bluehost for instance will likely use this keyword on google search but if they want to learn how to use bluehost for instance they might type in words like how to use bluehost or how to build a wordpress site with bluehost and all those sorts that's if they are in the learning state but if they are the point where they want to take action they are most likely going to use this keyword now some of them might type in some phrases or keywords that are slightly different from this i'll show you how you can show your links to people who might use words or phrases like that but first let's check if people are actually using this keyword on google blue sign up after entering the keyword click on get results so here i'm just going to rearrange this interface right here and as you can see blue sign up gets an average monthly search between 100 to 1000 um, there has not been serious change within the last three months another very key metric you need to look at here is the competition now the competition is not that high competition is medium and then how much you might pay to rank for this keyword and it's between 21 cents and 35 dollars now i might want to add related keywords here you see name chip sign up I'll click on get result namecheap is another web hosting platform just like bluehost and then this is quite cheaper and then if i add for instance host gate to i click get result the average monthly searches is within the same range but this is too high as you can see you might pay as high as 71 dollars for your ad to show at the top so let me try go daddy let me see let's see what we have there now the average monthly search for the keyword go that the sign up is far less even though competition is low and then the price is not too high so what i'm going to do i'm going to be targeting these three keywords bluehost sign up and then name chief sign up and then go that the sign up anybody that goes to google to search for any of these keywords is actually looking for a web hosting platform and is actually ready to start working with the platform so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy these three 
after copying i'm going to save it somewhere so these are the three keywords i'm going to use for my ad blue sign up name to sign up go daddy sign up now regardless of the product you are promoting just make sure you are targeting keywords that people who are ready to use that product will search for whenever they go on google that way your conversion rate will be higher and if you enter a particular keyword and then the average monthly search is too low probably less than 100 or the competition is too high or the amount of money you are most likely going to spend to rank for that keyword is too high as well then those are not good keywords you should be targeting with your ad because if the average monthly search is for that keyword is very low that means people are not using that keyword a lot on google and if the competition is too high that means it will take a lot of work and it costs you a lot of money for people to see your ad in cases like that then you might try to target different keywords or try a different strategy completely maybe create a blog post and then try to direct people to the blog post and then if they find value in the post they can um, use your link to sign up but basically after you've seen the keyword you want to use for your ad it's time to go back to google ads and actually set up our campaign and what you just need to do here is to click on this new campaign right here and then here you need to select your campaign objective you just want to go for website traffic you just need people to click on our link and get to our affiliate page so select website traffic and click continue then you need to select your campaign type here what you just want to do is to click on search and that's because we want google to show our ad to people who are searching for the keyword we are going to be targeting then here you can just enter your link right here so i'm going to paste my link and then campaign name let me just say affiliate one and then click on continue now at the bidding level what do you want to focus on we are not focusing on conversions we are going to focus on clicks we basically just want people to click on our link when they get to the page they can decide to go ahead with the sign up or not then set a maximum cost per click limit if you want to set a cap to how much you are willing to pay for a particular click so here i'll just enter maybe five dollar this does not mean you pay five dollars for every click okay you can get clicks far lower than the amount you've entered here but what you are basically saying is if it's going to cost you more than five dollars for a click then you don't want that click all right so i'm going to click on next then the networks you want to show your ad on we are showing our ad only on search network no display for the locations i'm not going to use all locations i'm going to enter another location and then i'm going to enter the united states and the united kingdom okay with the locations you want to like look at people who will buy this product that you are promoting where are they most likely going to be coming from so i'm targeting united kingdom and united states and you can use google keyword plan as well to see how people are searching for the keyword you are targeting in these particular locations that you've chosen then i'll scroll down for languages english then you want to scroll down audience segment is if you've created a category of people you want to target before dynamic search ad is if you want google to do a bulk of the work for you but i'm not going to touch any of that right now i'll just click on next all right this stage is where we enter the keywords we are going to be targeting we don't want any suggestions from google we already know the keywords we want to target for me these are the keywords i'm going to be targeting with my ad okay so what i'm going to do i'll just copy copy my keywords copy all of this and then come over here and paste my keywords right on this box now if you check under this keyword box you are going to see some clues that will help you play with how you want google to match the keyword you are targeting and what people are searching for if you want google to show ad to a lot more people you go for word keyword matching that means you don't need to add any punctuations to the keyword you are targeting but if you want to go for phrase match that means if people type in how to blue sign up for instance or how to name to sign up or um something like blue sign up 2022 if they just kind of tweak their search phrase as long as it looks like this google is going to show your ad to them and to achieve that you just need to enter these quotation marks around your keyword or if you want to go for exact match that means you want google to show ad only to people who are searching with these exact keywords you have here for instance if i enclose my keyword in this bracket that means only people who search for go that the sign up are going to see my ad for me i'm going to use phrase match because i want google to show my ad to people searching for keywords that are very similar 
to what I have here. And to do that, I just need to enclose my keywords in quotation marks. All right, so you can see what I have right here. I just hope you understand all of these explanations that I just made. And just in case it's not that clear to you, you can just settle down and go through this video again. Or if you have any question, you can drop your questions down below in the comment section. After entering my keywords, you can scroll down and here is where you add your final URL and this should be your affiliate link. Then for display path is how you want Google to show your URL to people. Okay, so you can modify this any way you want or you can just come over to Google and type in the keyword you are targeting. Let me say Bluehost sign up. You are going to see the ads that are showing at the top of the page. You can pick some ideas from this ad right here. And then another way to get clues as to what to use on your display path and the description is to actually come over to the page people will get to when they click on your link. So you can see here there are some benefits like special intro offer and 30 day money back guarantee that I can use in my description and all those stuff. So I'll come back here and just use bluehost.com and you sign up then i'm going to add web hosting and by this side right here you are going to see a preview of everything you are doing here so this is what the link people are going to see will look like then after you've done that scroll down for the headline you can see google is suggesting some headlines you can use the best web hosting hosting website stores blah 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 so you can use their suggestions or you could type in your own headline if you want so i'm going to pick um some of some stuff from here so i have the best web hosting i'm going to use the best web hosting is here for me already i'm going to pin it in position one then let me see i'm going to take free domain name for first year because it's another benefit that people will be very interested in so i type in free domain name for first year and then i'm going to pin this as well in position two and that's because i don't want google to try to rearrange what i have here and then it's just kind of mess up the whole stuff so i'll pin this show only in position two then i'll need to add one more headline so i'll come back here again let me see what i can pick um let me use one click wordpress install i'll come back here so i have one click wordpress install right here and also note that for your headlines, they have to be less than 30 characters. So you have to be very creative um, when doing this. So I'm going to pin this to position three. So Google mandates just three headlines so you can leave the remaining spaces, but you can add them if you want um, for flexibility. After the headlines, you need to scroll down and then you need to type in some descriptions, all right? So Google has some descriptions here for you. Bluehost is one of the largest web hosting, blah, 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 blah. But I'm not going to use those suggestions. Um, let me see if I can pick some stuffs from this page. Maybe I could include powering over 2 million websites worldwide. So I'll come over here. Your description cannot be more than 90 characters, okay? Now, the headline and description is very important because you are not the only person targeting this particular keyword. And what people see here is what we decide if they are going to click your link or click on other people's link whenever they see your ad. So you really have control over the headline, the description, the URL path, and then the remaining part of the work is left to Google who will decide when or where to rank your ad. And Google basically use a number of factors to do that, your quality score and how much you are willing to pay. All right. But first, let's do what we have absolute control over the headline, the description and the URL part. That's why I'm taking my time right at this stage. So here I'm going to type in powering over 2 million websites worldwide. This is kind of like a social proof. And then the next place I'm going to use um, special intro offer and 30 days money back guarantee all right so there you have it special in offer and 30 days money back guarantee if you want to make sure that what people are seeing is convincing enough this is the preview on mobile and then you can switch to desktop and see what it looks like as well so you can play around with this whichever way you want then what i'm going to do here i'll click on done and then click on next i'm not going to bother myself with all of these extensions i'll just click on next so what's your budget I'll just use $100 per day and this does not necessarily mean you are going to spend all the $100 every day. Then I'll go ahead and click on next. Here Google is saying no traffic expected blah 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 because they want you to make some changes. 
let me see so what i'm going to do here to fix this problem is to actually broaden my targeting i'm going to enter another keyword that people are most likely going to search for when they want to use bluehost even though it's not as targeted as this but we have more people searching for it so i'm going to use exact match for bluehost okay now this exact match simply means my ad is going to show to people who just type bluehost in their search box so after i've done that i can then scroll down and click on next click on next again so budget i'm going to leave it at 100 dollars per day and then just click on next so here is like a summary of what you have in your campaign so all i just need to do is to click on publish campaign google is going to review your ad and if they approve it your ad is going to start showing to people who are searching for the keyword you are targeting and you are only going to pay when they click on your link and visit the website your affiliate link will direct them to and if they buy or sign up to whatever you are promoting you earn your cool commission so this one cool way you can promote your affiliate links without waiting for organic traffic but if you don't have money to spend on ad then your best option is organic traffic click the video that is showing on your screen right now if you want to learn my free traffic method for affiliate marketing that's all for this video guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one